What's up, Leo? This is Soul here, and Leo, we're going to look at your week ahead starting uh, January 22nd and ending January 28th, 2024. Wow, we're almost out of January already, the start of the new year. Leo, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the cocaine tarot to deliver your messages, not reading any reversals. All right, so we're just going to shuffle up the cards here. <clears throat> real good and begin your messages what's coming up for my fellow lions out there what's coming up for leo what can leo expect this week all right energies for leo oh i forgot to mention <laughs> by the way leo this particular deck here is very graphic in terms of sexual nudity so i hope it doesn't offend anyone i offer no apologies we're all adults we can handle this right all right energies for leo all right let's begin leo here's your first card that's going to start your messages and we're going to start with the will of fortune well you got good luck and good fortune on your side this is the card that i always um mentioned that it relates to fate and destiny so there could be something that uh, occurs this week where you're fated or destined to be somewhere or something you know in those positions uh occur or happen for you in a very positive way of course this is one of my um big money cards so you know if you're the lion that likes to take risk and gamble go to casinos and play the lottery do so responsibly though you could be coming into some fortune here will of luck i'm sorry will of fortune not will of luck <laughs> all right leo. leo you know i can get stupid at times anyway so yeah fate and destiny and then you know you can take in consideration that the will of fortune i don't talk about it that often whenever it is here in your spread whenever you receive this card here it's the type of energy that expands and opens up all kinds of good luck in all areas so keep that in mind okay so you got good luck on your side up next now we have the major arcana the hangman so any actions or decisions that you need to um you know do this week here you know leo the hangman just comes through this to let you know hey just take your time you don't need to rush things hanging in the balance sitting on the fence that kind of stuff Following that, we have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is where some Leos are going to take some sort of a major decision, okay? I just said the hangman is about you having to make decisions or actions but taking your time, but there's something major here that you're going to do. Now, that could be related to almost anything. The card is, um, you know, relative to communication, you know, gaining information, uh, definitely speaking your truth, and then just, you know... Um, waiting to use that sword to strike but there is something major that you're about to do now oftentimes the queen of swords and the king of swords when it comes to those actions and decisions normally do something or do those things in terms of um eh, cold and calculating stuff but not always you know the case so all all depends on what's going on with you and you know your situation so that's the queen of swords it's a lot of uh, determination, too, here with the Queen of Swords in terms of those actions or decisions. Up next now, we have the King of Cups. King of Cups is the father of all love. He's nurturing. He's caring. He's supportive. He's definitely intuitive. So pay attention to your intuition this week. Uh, Leo, the King of Cups, is here to help uh, you, guide you in making the right choices and decisions for yourself moving forward. Uh, this card could be regarded as, you know, your father or your grandfather, but interchangeably, it could be your mother or your grandmother, you know, because these roles are always reversible, interchangeable. All right. So this also could definitely mean, um, you know, relationships. So uh, the expansion of new relationships, romantic, platonic, and just, you know, spending quality time possibly with family members and friends. Okay, a lot of love here. Uh, emotional happiness, love and contentment, satisfaction. Up next, we have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups in this case is socializing for me. Even number of cups, so what you give is what you're going to get back. I regard this card as, again, inter 
interacting with family members, romantic partners and friends, always pick up the um, instance of dining out, eating out at restaurants, could be double dating or whatnot. What you give is what you're going to get back, four of cups. Then we have the three of wands. There's something positive that you're either moving towards uh, this week or it's moving towards you. Traveling may be involved. If you are traveling, uh, vacationing, you know, work-related matters, you're safe to and from. Also, um, I regard the Three of Wands as, a, a you know, energy that is boosted. If there was anything that was slow or stagnant for you, that which includes relationships, projects, and so forth, okay? Long-distance romance, love affairs, always get with the Three of Wands. Following the Three of Wands here now for you, Leo, we have the uh, Ten of Cups. Oh, my gosh. You got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, of course, an even number of cups like the Four of Cups, but we have the King of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups. This could be that exchange of energy with family members, friends, romantic partners, once again, celebrations of all kinds. So you could be celebrating somebody's birthday, anniversary. Someone could be still getting married with the Ten of Cups. Like the King of Cups, it's about emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, as well as contentment, Be you know, based on the uh, energy that you have with uh, your current circle, or it could be that which includes new encounters, okay? So, wow. Ten of Wands, two tens in a reading is very auspicious. Actually, you have three because the Wheel of Fortune here is... Um, a 10. So you have triced that energy of something very auspicious opening for you. But the 10 of wands, nonetheless, is just uh, how I read the card and interpret the card is energy. So you'll have some sort of energy um, given to you this week to help you do whatever it is that you need to take care of. Now, it could be work related matters. It could be just doing things for yourself. Just busy, 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 because this is one of my busy bees. So having the energy to take care of anything that is scheduled for you or unscheduled. Next up after the Ten of Wands, we have the Temperance card, Major Arcana. Damn, Leo, this is turning out to be a, a good spread. Now, you are a part of this energy. It represents Sagittarius, but this is restoring peace, love, balance, and harmony. Bringing that energy back into your life. Look, it's underneath the King of Cups, so that might be significant in terms of a message for somebody out there because this involves... The temperance card involves relationships. This is, um, you know, could be regarded as Mother Nature, just spending some time outdoor, you know, outdoors with Mother Nature, enjoy Mother Nature and God's beauty, but you could be doing it with family. You could be doing it with romantic partners or friends. All right. Loving yourself, healing yourself, because the temperance card always comes through in terms of healing as well. Wow. The last card I have for you, Leo, is the <laughs> the Nine of Cups. Damn. Okay, so this is the Wish Fulfillment card. The yes answer to all romantic questions. I equate the Nine of Cups with that of the Star card, right? Social networking, social media, anything that you're wishing for, praying for, hoping for. May come. Look, you got the Wheel of Fortune because it cross mirrors over here to the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups. Oh, my gosh. It's not an even number of cups like the Ten of Cups, but it's still a card that re is regarded as emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment based on those relationships. Oh, my goodness. Okay. In your shadow, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles just simply means that somebody could be getting a raise. It's an even number of Pentacles. Again, balanced energy. So um, there also could be an apology. That may be coming back to you if you were slighted by anyone in the recent past. Also, this is a card of uh, charity and gift giving. So you could be the receptor of receiving a gift or you could be the one who's giving someone else a gift. Page of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Page of Cups is the um, card that represents pregnancy news, childbirth, a job offer. Could be new relationships formed, platonic and romantic. Also, it could... Simply mean that maybe Leo has entered into a new relationship. And I always say if they have, then it's less than 30 days old. It's still fresh. Last cup. I'm sorry, last card. <laughs> Ironically, I called it a cup. It is the seven of cups. Well, of course, you finish off with the seven of cups. And that's a card, again, that is regarded as emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. In this case, someone could be 
uh, expressing how they feel towards you, or you might be doing that to them. Keep in mind that this is an open general reading. So that could definitely mean, you know, romantic partnerships, Leo, definitely friendships and, um, you know, family expressing themselves to you or you're doing that to them. Options are open. So always make sure that you're paying attention here. Uh, to um, your intuition. Remember I said the King of Cups is here to help guide you in terms of your intuition. If there's, you know, multiple options that are presented to you. And um, I wouldn't be too surprised here because you have the Wheel of Fortune. Stroke of luck on your side. Wow. This is what I have for you this week, Leo. Impressive to me. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Remember, it is just me interpreting the cards here. Uh, share the video if you can. Um, just have an exceptional great week ahead. Remember to keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.